Hola everybody! Welcome to Valencia! This is where we are now in our uh, road trip. Third biggest uh, city of Spain. Oh, after which city? Barcelona and Madrid, of course. Of course, I've been both to Barcelona and Madrid, but this is my first time in Valencia. Where are you? Um, I've never been here before. Okay, so, so this is both our first time. Exciting! Yeah, I can't wait to see you. Okay, this is the Palau de Reina de la Sofia. I think I pronounced it right. Yeah, perfect. What is it? <laughs> it's the Opera Valencia, which is the Opera House of Valencia. But what does it look like? I would say it's spaceship, like Star Trek. Yeah, it does look very like sci-fi spaceship y. Yeah. Beam me aboard! Unfortunately, you're not deemed worthy. <laughs> oh no, do you have all these people staring now? <laughs> We are now in the city of art and sciences and you can see just the beautiful architecture all around celebrating sciences and the arts, like the opera house. Beautiful but, buildings. Yes, yeah, it's such a beautiful public space too. It's so open. Look at this. The architecture is free for everybody to visit and come. It's a really nice place that is like right here. And the other end is the city center where the medieval <laughs> like all the way at the other end at the opposite end of the park. Yeah. Which we'll be heading there soon. What look at that? People are stand up paddle boarding. They are boating. That is so cool. I didn't know this is how you get into one of these balls. Like they literally fill you up with air. And also so many cool activities here. And this is like my favorite spot in Valencia. It's just so utopian, futuristic, sci-fi. So many cool activities. You just shove the whole old center away and go for the new stuff? <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't say, no, I didn't say it's my favorite. <laughs> Come to La Braca. I think it's when I was Lambrico. I don't know, I think you butcher every Spanish word. Yeah. Maybe somebody can comment on that. Lambrico, yes. Let us know if I'm shredding your language to be <laughs> This is basically a garden in the sky. Look how green everything is. And. Hillboy. <laughs> Which means what? <laughs> Very pretty. In Dutch. <laughs> and it means uh, Fabioso in Spanish. <laughs> We are in the central market of Valencia and we have the iconic horchata which is this drink right here. It looks milky but it's made out with earth amandos and it has lots of nutrients and goes super well with the potong which is kind of like a traditional snack in Valencia. How is it? That sugary dope? Does it go well with the drink? Yeah, it goes well with the drink. Perfect snack right before lunch. This is the biggest market in all of Europe for fresh produce. So you see, you got your meat here, hanging jamon, and then all of this veggies, anything and everything here in this gorgeous, amazing museum of a building. Look at this architecture. Look how huge these strawberries are, what? You also can get fresh fruits, cut up, juice. Okay, so where are we eating now after our horchata little snack? Well, same place, but it's uh, still the central market. Yes, exactly. It's like this little eatery that's quite popular with the Espanol. And it's just right outside the central market. Yes, our expectations are high. So, but, but what did we order? Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, I can't hear you. You have something in your mouth? No, 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 that's Spanish. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> and an eggplant.
and the lasagna type. Yeah, yeah. So the the paella valenciana is a local dish of the city and slash region, and it has snails, chicken, and rabbit all in one dish. Yum, right? All the cheese. The sauce. Oh, the sauce. It's tomato -y. Oregano. Oh, no! no. <laughs> oh, sadness. The next piece better be mine. This time is not Oh, I have this one every single day. It's a plant. Mm. Yes, you can get the paella in any other city in Spain, but what makes it so special and unique and why it's so Valencian was not only because it was created here, mm, but because of the high mineral in the water in Valencia and surrounding that is used to create the paella and creates this really nice soft texture that you're tasting right now. I learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. Foodie fact of the day. <laughs> how central everything is. So right behind us, where we're eating right now, is the Silk Exchange. It's one of the most important buildings here because this is where all the trade from the 15th century came through and they built this building just exclusively for it. Flag of Valencia and the Silk Exchange. These are the beans that makes the horchata with the amanda. <laughs> Show us how to use a traditional Valencian fan. Oh, not like this. <laughs> not sure. This is amateur hour, people. Amateur. <laughs> <laughs> now this is how you do it, like a true uh, Valencian woman. Is that where we're going? It's not where we're going though. Oh, where are we going up here? <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> it's to do with more pizzazz. Oh, <laughs> give it a twirl. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, breaking this Valencian heat. This is one of the many entrances to the cathedral, but the original one built in the Romanesque architecture. But as you go further up, you can see there's Gothic windows. And then Gothic became fashion. The Archbishop uses this passageway to go from the cathedral to the basilica. We're coming out to the other side of where the basilica and the cathedral is, side by side. Third entrance. The third entrance. Ooh, the third entrance is very beautiful. <laughs> You can see so many different types of styles of architecture in this church alone. So here is Roman, like the Roman arches. But then up here is Baroque and Gothic style as well. The city center is so beautiful, Hussey. Like, look, even this garden right here has so many oranges and lemons. Yeah. City of beautiful architecture never ceases to amaze me. This city was founded by Romans. What gave it away? This is the bull ring, right here. But it's still in use for concerts these days. Ah, cool. So who's playing? Uh, oh, Bob Dylan. <laughs> Train station, Spiffy. Let's see, how did you find our Airbnb? On Airbnb? <laughs> okay, but 
this specific location that we are staying in Actually, I found out it's called Rusafa And Rusafa is arguably Valencia, the most coolest, hippest neighborhood So I was like, hey, such a coincidence that we're here I was just automatically drawn to it, I guess <laughs> Okay, but there's another neighborhood called Carmen Which maybe is rival in hip and quarter But Rusafa has like such, as we already can see Like slinky bars, restaurants everywhere Like little restaurants, art And it's a really young vibe and young environment too Which we really enjoy so far Wedding a oh, you want to say something? Gorgeous, huge building right here is Market de Colón. As the name implies, it is a market, or oh, was a market now. It has been renovated and then tons of restaurants are inside. What do you think about the architecture? Do you smell that? Yeah, it smells so good. What's it smell like? Uh, I smell like focaccia type, like Yeah, it's baked. fresh bread, like, like baked bread. Yeah. It's just been baked. It smells so nice. I mean, I know it's like, very fitting for the market. But now I'm really hungry again, we just ate. <laughs> City is such a treat for art and architecture. Wow, look at these high ceilings. Harry Potter sighting. Just down below here is the Jardin de Turia, which is a 10 kilometer long Park. It used to be a river that got sucked out, but then the city was going to plan to make a whole highway system right here, all along 10 kilometers. But people protested, they were like, nah, that's gonna be so ugly. And now look, instead they put a park in its place. So magnificent. And all along this 10 kilometer park are these gorgeous bridges. There's so many bridges just all along. Each bridge has its own architectural feature. This one is like very stone and medieval. This flower bridge and it just connects the whole city together. So we're just taking a stroll in the park, casual, right? And then we come by this little section where kids are playing on what looks like. What does this look like, you? <laughs> I, I don't dare to say it. Uh, I'm just gonna show it real quick and then I'm, we're gonna do like three, two, one, our answer, okay? Okay, so you see a man, right? A man like with vines, rope, bearded, his arms up, all these kids on him, and then like, is he half naked for the rest of his body? That's that, his legs. This is his legs. But doesn't that look like a robe he's wearing? Where all those kids are sliding down? Oh, does this not look like three, two, one, dead Children's Jesus. Playground. What are you saying? Let's continue on. <laughs> Alright, so meal time to end our time in Valencia. Look at this starter, chef special. We're at a restaurant called Osia in our neighborhood. And there are so many deals for lunch and dinner that this dinner deal is 15 euros for a three course dinner. And we're starting off with this dish that looks like it is type of meat with a mash on top. Starters continue. Look, we got these shrimp skewers. Mm, so nice, grilled. Comes the paella, look at this. If only you can smell it as well. It is like a fresh of being right at the sea. Look at this really nice mussels, fish. Still too hot, but already packed full of flavors. And it feels like I'm tasting the ocean in my mouth. Ooh. Well, it doesn't say much. This is my third one in Spain, but it's the best paella I've had so far. Best paella ever. Best paella ever. I agree.
Not to brag, but I always find the best restaurants. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is in our neighborhood too. This one is very good. This one is very yeah, very good. Highly recommended. The end of brownie ooh, and Natia de Vanilla. <laughs> We have more Spanish adventures coming at you as we explore the whole coastal region. Click play on the next video, give this video a like, leave a comment below when you think of this part of Spain so far, and hit subscribe if you haven't already.